scuba equipment maintenance and the first piece of equipment that we are going to maintain is the dive mask in my case it's a Tusa Freedom Zeos mask and I'm going to show you guys how you clean it and uh, yeah disassemble it assemble it so uh, let's get to work in case of the Tusa mask there's a little clip that you can unclip in this little hole that I'm pointing at I am just using the back of a teaspoon, nothing more, nothing less. And I'm just gently, you know, without too much force, try to open it. And as you can see, it flies away. And uh, now we can remove the rest of the frame. So the black frame has now been uh, enabled to open up. So carefully, I'm going to try to pop out the frame. For that, I'm using uh, a bit of a sharp knife that I can just put between the black frame and the pink frame and just wiggle my way as you can see to open it up my advice to you is don't use too much force you have to use a little bit of uh, of uh, power sometimes but in general if you have to use too much force you're forcing it and that's never a good thing so just uh, you know give yourself the time go step by step don't try to do it all at once and uh, you'll see you'll be able to pop out the frame in no time. Once the frame is out, you'll be able to take also out the glasses. You'll just have to put some pressure on the back with your thumb and slowly the frame will get loose from the rubber, as you can see. Again, no brute force, just dental pressure is all that should be necessary to, uh, to do it. And last but not least, it's time to remove the rubber from the pink frame. So basically at this point you have disassembled the whole mask. Uh, in my case, I could also remove the masker band, but I actually cleaned that a few weeks ago. So I'm going to leave it on for now. So I'm using dish soap, but you can pretty much use anything as long as it doesn't bite. So the thing that my dive instructor re recommended was Dettol Medical. Um, but yeah, I don't have that right now. And also the shelves are pretty empty with that stuff. So I'm just going to go for dish soap and then I'm going to use a toothbrush. And as you can see, my glass, pretty dirty. But if you use the toothbrush, you can pretty much just go around it, clean off all the dirt. And uh, yeah, that's how we're gonna, gonna clean the whole bunch. Once you've cleaned everything, it's time to rinse off any remaining soap and then put it on a towel so it can dry. Once everything is dry, it's time to assemble the mask again. We start with putting in the rubber bands in a pink frame and then we grab the glasses, put them in the holes carefully, almost pushing one out again, <laughs> and then it's time to put back the black frame. Again, take your time, make sure it clicks in all the right spots. And then in this case, we put back the little black thing and we are done. And that's it folks. That's a very nice, shiny, clean mask. Special thanks to Daniel from Duikvereniging Leeuwarden for giving me the advice how to do it. 
And if you guys enjoyed the video, I would highly appreciate it if you follow me on YouTube. And uh, yeah, like this video. I hope you have a good day. Bye.